In this, the tenth Inspector McLean story, Tony and his team are working on a major multi-agency investigation into international money laundering and linked organised crime. And one of the admin support officers goes missing. She has very high security clearance, which means her disappearance is a serious problem. When a burned out car is found in remote woodlands a few days later, things get even worse. The top brass think that Anya Renfro has sold out to the money launderers and tipped them off and then disappeared with her ill-gotten gains. Having worked with her for many years, Tony McLean is not so sure. But as he begins his search for her, he discovers that she's been living an elaborate double life. Not a criminal, not a spy, but something that may have landed her in much more trouble. The idea for this book came to me, as many ideas do, when two conversations collided on Twitter. I, I was reminded of the, the Scottish legend of Sawney Bean, infamous cannibal of the 16th century. Um, at round about the same time as I was having a conversation with somebody else about their unusual pastime of dogging. Uh, those of you who don't know what that is, is engaging in sexual acts in public, usually with strangers whilst being watched by other people. Um, my mind being the way it is, uh, these two things kind of link together in my mind and that's how the story came about. This, this is the tenth Inspector McLean novel and to, I wanted to celebrate that in a little way so I included references to all the previous nine books in the story. Um, you don't need to have read any of the earlier ones before, though obviously I would like it if you did. Um, Bury Them Deep also sees the unwelcome return of one of Tony's more memorable adversaries, um, the serial killer Norman Bale. Readers of Prayer for the Dead, which was book five in the series, will remember Tony's childhood friend, long since thought dead. Um, he spent the past few years in a psychiatric unit, so um, it's suddenly reappearing is most unwelcome, and also the fact that he seems to know an awful lot about the missing admin support officer raises all sorts of questions.